Not a lot happening out there as far as precipitation is concerned. Higher pressure today is what kept all of that at bay. We did have a few showers and storms yesterday, but really it's just been waiting game until we get to the next round of active weather. That starts tomorrow. First, to look at the max track over the last few hours, we did have a little bit, and I do mean you have to squint to see it. Look out towards Floyd and Pike County, the extreme eastern counties in our forecast area, and you can see just a little blip right about there. That's the only shower activity we've seen on the max track all day today. So, What's happening? Well, if you look at the big picture, you see low pressure up northeast. You see low pressure out in the plains. We sit right in the middle, which is high pressure, meaning that the clouds just don't build tall enough to eventually form showers or storms. But that will change. This is getting a lot closer to us. If you remember yesterday, this low was sitting in northern Texas. Now it's moving into Missouri, so eventually it'll make its way to the upper Midwest and bring in our next form of activity. But you look out towards the west of that, and there's still a lot going on. So there's a lot of moisture to work with. There's a lot of instability. And once we put all of that together, these two low pressures will eventually combine. And when they do, now we're talking about an uptick in activity. So getting into Wednesday, really it's going to be more the transition period. It's not going to be an all-day rain event, more so into the afternoon and evening. But at least the clouds will start to increase late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then throughout the day. So it will be overcast, but eventually some sh showers and storms working their way in. The cold front is what's going to do the best chance or bring in the best chance for the activity throughout the rest of the work week. So Thursday and Friday, until that cold front can pass, it's going to be all day chances for the activity coming in. Let's go ahead and put the future track. We're starting out in the Midwest because you can see all the showers and thunderstorm activity mostly clustered. But what's going to happen is clouds increasing throughout the early morning hours of tomorrow and then eventually those waves of showers and storms roll through. Heavy rain, strong wind gusts, possible small to moderate hail. Those are the bigger threats that we're looking at, but these will be I mean, prodigious lightning producers going forward as well. So all of the main threats that we have in the summer will continue with these showers and storms. This is going to be the time frame that we see the most activity this week, Thursday morning into the afternoon and really building up those showers and storms. So as far as severe weather is concerned, we do have a marginal risk for tomorrow, specifically in our northwestern and western counties. Still, the, I mean, the smallest risk, one or two isolated severe storms possible. And then what happens on Thursday is that marginal risk kind of gets centered right over our forecast area. So the next couple of days we have chances, but once again, not outbreak for severe weather. It's going to be more isolated to maybe a few spotty showers that do eventually become strong to potentially severe thunderstorms. Thursday is your best day for any kind of activity. Friday, we back it off just a little bit as the cold front continues to slide around us. But after that, unfortunately, going throughout the end of the week into the beginning of the weekend, we keep that rain chance high. So that's what's happening in our region. Let's take the, to the tropics. We have uh, an investigative low pressure that's sitting out in the middle upper Atlantic. It's not really doing much. It is getting some good spin with it. And it actually has a decent chance to become tropical over the course of the next five days. It's going to be a fish storm. It's not going to hit anybody. But it is just the only thing that we are tracking as far as the tropics go. It's been a quiet Atlantic season. Thank goodness for that. Going forward for our, day, our eight day forecast, a lot of activity, especially Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday, unfortunately. Good news is, though, everything kind of washes out Sunday morning. And we're back to some nice weather, some sunshine for the end of the work, for the end of the weekend. And then it starts raining again on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> How it goes, unfortunately. Hey, we've got to hang on to this breakfast, yeah, that's for sure. Do. Seth, thank you. Yeah.